Boy, what the fuck going on in Miami, bro? Boy, got in that no, shit, this shit just disappeared. Boy, what the fuck going on in Miami, bro? Boy, got in that no, shit, this shit just disappeared. Love this stream. <laughs> Oddly satisfying you. Let's get this thing fixed. What you mean every iPhone ever? We've got a 12 Pro Max with a broken back glass. Let's I get this thing fixed. Fraud, and now it's crunch time. The fuck? What was that? Oh, how is this satisfying? I hate this. Chat is a suspect among the laugh. Yo, you come in. Is it locked? Oh, nice. Hey, chat, can I get a smile? And we'll give it a good old brush. I'm watching some bullshit in the video. We'll put the new hey, Sammy, you know, I know how many people asked for this deal today? Literally zero. There we go. Good as new. Thank you for watching. Nobody cares about this in the world. They're not a single human. There's a single fuck about any of this. But I'm still playing it, though. Any cuties in the chat? <gasps> Sammy, do you think um, the owners of the house feel bad that this looks like a fucking mess here? What is this? Chinese enters new space station after 6.5 hours flight. Oh, this is pretty cool, man. This is kind of fun. This is kind of scary, though. Stuck there. What if you want something? You feel weird. You want to go home. There's nothing you can do. You're, you're literally in a flying piece of metal, man. In space. What's up, guys? Just leave the set. Oh my, it's not a set, man. Ah, uh, dude, let's just move on. This is juice content, okay? It's 8 in the morning, and your alarm just woke you up. You're late because you have to be at work at 8.30, so you don't have time to eat your breakfast let's at home. In a hurry, you brush your teeth, put on some clothes, and jump into the car headed for the office. You're starving, and you say to yourself, I'm gonna stop at the first drive through I see and get some fast food. And obviously, the first thing that pops up is a McDonald's. So without thinking too much, you get a McToast, which is just suitable for breakfast. While you wait for the car in front of you to order, you see the menu, and the Big Mac meal is only $5.99, and you say, why not? I'll go for it. Big Mac meal's you don't want the fries and a Coke. You get it, you eat the meal in your car, and you arrive at work just in time. After eight hours of hard work and no lunch break, once again, you are starving. So you go straight to McDonald's, and you buy a Big Mac meal, and an Oreo McFlurry. The taste is so good, and it's so cheap, that you decide to eat every day at McDonald's. Okay, whoa. But is it really healthy? First things first, let's define the word healthy, something which is beneficial to somebody's physical, mental, or emotional state, associated with good health or reduced risk of disease. McDonald's food, for the most part, is fairly low in nutrients, high in fat and sodium, and designed for speed and convenience, not for improving your health. For example, a Big Mac has 900 that bad. of sodium, and the recommended sodium intake is about 1,500 milligrams a day, according to the American Heart Association. So two Big Macs would easily go above that. Almost everything in a McDonald's burger. Chat, if, if you think okay, this sodium is really bad, but take anything that you get from like um, activate Windows. Just get one of your um, frozen lasagnas. Anything frozen that you have, dude. Look at the sodium sodium levels. It's insane. Sugar is low in protein and very high in so, carbs and fats, and contains almost no vitamins. Yeah, this could increase your risk food of heart is crazy disease. Sodium. And your liver would be severely affected. Also, just one Big Mac is 540 kcals, and it doesn't even make you feel full. Because a study shows that the slower you eat, the fuller you feel. And McDonald's is made to be eaten fast. 
But how should I know exactly what happens to my health if I eat McDonald's daily, you might ask. Like, it's impossible that there's a documentary out there which shows the effects of fast food if eaten daily, right? Actually, a memorable experiment was done by Morgan Spurlock. His documentary follows 30 days from February 1st to March 2nd, 2003, during which he ate McDonald's food only. This documentary shows what happened to Morgan's health after 30 days of eating at McDonald's, including how it encourages poor nutrition for its own profits. This experiment had to follow some rules governing his eating habits. He must fully eat three McDonald's meals per day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He must consume every item on the McDonald's menu at least once for the 30 days. He must only ingest items that are offered on the McDonald's menu, including bottled water. All consumption of outside food is prohibited. He must supersize the meal when offered, but he cannot request to supersize on his own. The last rule he had to follow was that he had to make about 5,000 steps per day, which is approximately two miles, or just the distance that an average American walks daily. At the no, beginning of the experiment, Spurlock, no who's about 6 foot 2 inches tall, had a body weight of 185 pounds, which is 84 kilograms. The first day passed, but on the second, his first supersized meals were being offered, and Morgan had to take it. This was a meal made of a double quarter pounder with cheese, supersized french fries, and a 42 ounce Coca-Cola, which he took 22 minutes to eat. He experienced steadily increasing stomach discomfort during the process, and then he vomited McDonald's in the parking lot. After five days, Spurlock gained nine and a half pounds, and soon he'd experienced depression and severe headaches, which he said could be relieved by eating McDonald's for several consecutive days. By the end of the month, he weighed about 210 pounds, an increase of about 24 and a half pounds. But why did a man who was above average shape, according to his personal trainer, get so fat and unhealthy in such a short period of time? Spurlock consumed an average of 20.9 megajoules, or 5,000 kcals per day during the experiment, the equivalent of 9.26 Big Macs. An intake of around 2,500 kcals within a healthy, balanced diet is more generally recommended for a man to maintain his weight. So, every day, he ate twice as much as a man would eat in terms of calories. And the bad okay. nutrition doesn't end there, because he increased his cholesterol drastically and fat accumulated in his liver. Eating McDonald's every day for 30 days gave him heart problems, because on day 21, Spurlock had heart palpitations. His internist advised him to stop what he was doing immediately to avoid any serious health problems. But despite this, he decided to continue. The documentary's end text says that it took Spurlock five months to lose 20.1 pounds, and another nine months to lose the last four and a half pounds. Okay. And that throughout the diet, Chat. he consumed over 30 pounds of sugar and over 12 pounds I'm of fat. Get, I'm gonna give you a stack. Seven, this video was kind of whatever. Seven, seven. Uh, there wasn't much of an like in-depth analysis about it. I thought it was gonna be more in-depth about it. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just for the day. Enjoy your stay outside the sun is shining 